everybody. We're back at it already. And today we are gonna be cutting up some beautiful red aventurine from Brazil. We have some gorgeous material here. Deep, deep red all the way through. And this sucker is quite the handful. And we have this piece, which is a nice light, lighter piece, smaller. And I have one in my pocket. Yeah, I have rocks in my pocket even. We have this guy and beautiful color on this. This should be really nice to cut. And Red Aventurine is not very hard to cut. So this should be pretty smooth. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna make towers or anything like that. I might just slab these and make them some of these kind of thin so we could get some nice color out of these. So that's what we're gonna be trying to do today. And we'll see how these all come out. I will meet you guys over at the saw. All right, so we're over at the saw and I retract my statement. Red Aventurine is around a seven on the Mohs hardness scale. So this is going to be considerably harder to cut through. So this is gonna take me a little bit longer than normal, but I'm hoping to get some of those beautiful patterns to come out in the slices, but I'm telling you, this is gonna take me a while. I'm gonna to have to cut a lot of this out. But yeah, I'm hoping to get a lot of that, that beautiful red, like that spray. So let's see what we could do here. And this piece, you almost get a window into kind of what it will look like because of the way it broken. Like this isn't cut, I don't think. All that though. So here we go. Let's get into this. This is going to be a while. I'm going to also make the slabs a little thicker now that I know it's going to take me so long to cut through. So I might do this one in like three pieces. So I finally get through the first cut, which took me a while. But this is what we're looking at. It almost looks like carnelian, doesn't it? I mean, this stuff is really nice with the patterns and everything. Let me see if I can get a little more light over here. And the patterns are beautiful. I gotta get it to focus in too. There we go. Really nice looking stuff. All kinds of orange and red through the whole spectrum popping out on that guy. So now you know what we're working with here and what it's gonna look like. And I'm just gonna make little pieces like this in, in slices and they're gonna progressively get larger and larger as I go. So I'm gonna cut back when I have a couple more slices cut. Look at this one. Wow, is that beautiful. This is gonna be well worth the painful cutting process of these. I can't believe how hard this stuff is. Wow, was I wrong, but it's beautiful. Let's keep going. Before I continue, I just wanted to show you the color on these guys. And this is the slice. It's about this thick. And once this is polished up, it's gonna be really beautiful just a awesome color but man it is this stuff tough this top layer it's almost like a 
half an inch here, whatever this is, once I get through it, that's easy to cut through. And then it's just like hitting a wall. Just once you hit the red and the white material, it's just at a total standstill. So I'm gonna continue cutting and it's gonna be a while. So I wanted to show you exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna be doing a cross cut. So this way I'm gonna use my vise and let this do a lot of the work instead of me trying to balance and hold it. So I have it locked in, this thing isn't going anywhere and all I'm gonna have to do is push forward and I'll get one beautiful cross cut on this awesome material. So I'll be back. So just wanted to keep you guys updated while I'm rocking out to some Metallica, cutting some rocks. So this didn't go all the way through. So I'm gonna have to flip it around. Again, I, well, I did change my blade to a different type of diamond cut. And I think that's definitely helping. So it's definitely lessened my uh, cutting, but this piece is just thick on the top here. So I'm gonna cut it from the other side now, cut this in half, and this should be another thick, beautiful slice of Red Aventurine. So let me take it back down and finish that part out. So quick update here. I just wanted to say Red Aventurine is not going to beat me it is not I changed my blade like I said before it's cutting a little bit quicker still very difficult material and I, I didn't realize how hard this was maybe I didn't cut this before I, I can't remember I swore um, maybe I'm thinking of Carnelian I don't know it's way more difficult than I remember but I'm not gonna let it beat me. And one of the cool things is I was just thinking about one of the metaphysical properties of Red Aventurine is determination, resilience. It's a awesome root chakra or sacral chakra stone, grounding energies, but determination and its properties are working against it right now if it doesn't want to get sliced because it's making me determined to slice it. So I'm gonna slice this sucker. I have about two more cuts to go. These are gonna be pretty thick slices, maybe an inch and a half, well, maybe an inch. I mean, this thing is massive. It's like the size of a baseball. I might need a, the next uh, size up saw, to be honest with you, <laughs> a bigger slab saw. So I'm gonna get going. I'm going to start, and this is going to take me a while to start cutting through this monster piece. And we are in the home stretch here. And look at the size of this thing. I have it cut up almost into like a cube <laughs> at this point. I mean, this thing is massive I mean it's so dark red orange it, it, it is it's awesome so I can't wait to show you the rest of um, the pieces because they are coming out amazing let's knock this out and see that that's gonna be about wow that's gonna be like an inch thick piece by the time it's done all right we'll be back in a sec so we are in the home stretch now. This is the last piece. 
We're going to slice this right in half. And then I will show you guys all the pieces and we'll get them all polished up. So check out all this Aventurine we got. Look at, look at these all. And I, I don't, I'm going to polish them up next and we're going to make them look awesome. I don't remember even this much material, but we got a ton of them out of there. So this is kind of what we're looking at here. Look at how beautiful it is. It's just that deep reddish orange. It looks more orange on the camera, but to me, it looks more red. And all of those are burn marks from the diamond saw. And once we polish this up, all of that will be gone and it'll be just mirror finish. So we are gonna, and look at how thick this, some of these are. These are awesome. So we're gonna start polishing next up. Kind of looks like a little bit of, kind of looks like pumpkin pie now that I look at it. <laughs> but let's move it along. We're gonna go to the polisher and start polishing these up and see how beautiful we could get these to come out. So we are over at the polisher and we have a whole bunch of pieces to polish up. So I'm gonna get those all polished up with this grit and then we're gonna move on to the next one and we're gonna see how much smoother and nicer this gets. And it's gonna also clean up all that black smudge, which is just burn marks from the saw. So this thing should be just one piece of just beautiful red. All right, let's get at it. So we are on our last one and I'm gonna knock this out and then we're gonna go to the next grit and keep on polishing. And I think this one has two faces to polish as well. All right, we are back and we are gonna go to the next grit and just keep on polishing. And these are just pure red at this point. Awesome looking. Honestly, it looks so much like carnelian, but in person, it looks even more red to me. I'm looking at the camera and in person, it's, it's a little different, but these are just gorgeous, gorgeous little pieces. Let's finish these out. So we are on the last disc besides the um, polisher. And we're gonna hit these all up quick and keep going. This, I feel like I've been doing this for hours. <laughs> all right, let's knock this out. So, we are finally, and I mean finally done, cutting and polishing all this red aventurine. And really, I feel like I've been doing this for quite a while. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully at least like this video and, and like the finished product because this one took me a while. Um, once again, I... Red Aventurine proved to be a little more tricky than I expected, but hey, determination. I kept going and going and going, and finally, finally, we are done. So I think they come out pretty awesome. They, most of them anyway, stand up, and they're not huge, but they're pretty beautiful, and got some really nice colors 
they polished up pretty nice between the rough and I like how a lot of them have the rough shells on them still. This one is extra awesome because it's polished on both sides. And this, at least you could kind of see now, maybe when they were wet, it was making them look more orange, unless it was the lighting. I'm not sure. But now, if you're seeing what I'm seeing, it's a deep, deep red. And that's what Red Aventurine looks like in the end. But here is each of them. And I think they came out pretty awesome. I mean, definitely let me know what you think. And look at some of these. are They're just thick. And I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised uh, on these guys. I honestly like... Personally, I think I like these two with the cool, with the white and the red sprays going through them with the rough on the back. But this guy is polished on both sides. And Red Aventurine, like I said earlier, is a nice grounding stone associated with the root chakra, sacral chakra. Just nice for that. And Courage, too. Courage is a big one for Red Aventurine. And this one's awesome too. It looks like a piece of like tree bark on the outside. So some of these I'm going to be putting up on, well, maybe all of them. I'll be listing on Etsy at some point. And another couple things too with the, um, the videos. I'm new in terms of doing these uh, cutting videos. Like some of the stuff in, in the footage I have my arm like half in the thing and I'm gonna get better trust me I'm <laughs> slowly but surely I'm, I'm gonna work out the kinks and uh, uh, hopefully perfect these so I'm trying to cut them down a little too I don't want to be showing every detail of everything because I know it can get a little monotonous but I love doing this stuff and even when I'm not making videos this is what i'm doing and i have this stuff comically enough right i mean i have a ranch house it's just one you know i don't have a upstairs and i have these smack dab in the middle of my house <laughs> there's there's rock dust flying around and it's yeah i'm i'm pretty crazy so hope you liked <laughs> hope you like all these and this is another one too nice chunky piece on the back and just deep deep red awesome all right so hopefully you guys enjoyed this and i'm going to keep making a lot more of these i have tons and tons and tons of rough material so i'm going to be cutting and polishing and hopefully most of this stuff i'll make videos on so you guys could watch and have some fun along with me because i really enjoy doing it all right i'll see you guys next time